remember that. I smell the coffee, actually. Smell that? It's downstairs. We keep the water there. Outside where you want to go, and it tells you what elevator to go to. It takes you directly there. Yep. Here we go. It's much easier. Go ahead. We're not just sitting in an elevator. That only happens when you forget to press the button. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. oh, this way, right. sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't think because I was expecting to go over there on my phone. Oh, wow. All right, well, Max fell asleep in the car. He was crazy in the lobby of Destino Tower, so we, I popped him in the car, started driving around property, just drove around property for about 30 minutes. He fell asleep. He's been asleep for close to an hour, so I'm just sitting in the parking lot of uh, Grand Destino uh, waiting for him to wake up. Our room is ready. We got a room on the 14th floor, so that sounds great. Um, just waiting for him to wake up. Nathan and Becca are hanging out at the resort. Um, met a friend of ours who knows somebody here and I guess they're getting a tour of the lounge that's up on the 16th floor so they're checking that out um, and just waiting for Max wake up to, to get up to the room also I lost my credit card my Disney visa I'm trying to figure out where that is um, I had it with a bunch of stuff when we went to Volcano Bay a few days ago and I know I used it on the way home from Volcano Bay to get gas so I'm pretty sure I had it at least till then um, and then it wasn't with the pile of stuff I had like with my driver's license and ID, either ID and stuff I had so I'm not sure where that is got to kind of figure out what happened to that but we'll have to look through our bags maybe we slipped it in somewhere I'm not sure but that's concerning <laughs> my credit cards missing um, but otherwise that's it this is a uh, animal kingdom day it's almost one o'clock we haven't gone to the park yet it's up till seven so we'll do it later in the afternoon kind of close out the park I guess um, can't believe this trip's already kind of coming to a to a conclusion it's kind of uh, sad it's been exhausting it's a lot of work with the um, with the, with a, a very rambunctious wild <laughs> two-year-old almost two-year-old um, and then of course a ten-year-old who's got all kinds of things that he wants to do so trying to balance all that is is tricky and then um, overall I think we really had a good trip so um, but we're not done. We got a little bit. We got a little bit of time today. Uh, enjoy uh, a couple nights here in this uh, beautiful resort, uh, and see some friends before we kick off. And then, of course, we have tomorrow, which is a free day. No parks planned, but we're here all day. Uh, we don't start heading home until Monday morning. So, um, trying to decide whether Becca and Nathan go back to Volcano Bay for a little while on Sunday because Becca didn't get to try the Krakatoa Aqua Coaster uh, and a couple other slides, so they may do that. Uh, so there's some things that we may do um, tomorrow too to just kind of enjoy enjoy this resort, just kind of end the end the trip on on a more, more relaxing note than just try racing to get rides and stuff in before before we make our journey home. So we still got a little bit of time, so we're excited, but uh, you know it's been good. It's been good. We're trying to we'll close it out strong. Boom. 
like four hours since our last little video. Want to see the drink? A drink the size of my head. This is, this is a huge drink, and it's one size. Yep, one size. So we got our room at uh, almost like Coronado Springs um, Destino Tower, 14th floor, right? Mm-hmm. 14th floor. Big, a big floor. And our room is really nice. We have a view of Tower of Terror and the show building from Rock and Roller Coaster. And then our little, our little friend Popsicles from Galaxy's Edge. On the back side of Galaxy's Edge, it just looks like Popsicles. And so, basically, we were, we, we were outside for like an hour okay, and then went into the room when it was ready. And then after, and Daddy was in the car. yes, and then they, we all, we were all were in the room after a few, after a few hours, we all were in the room. And then we decided to go to Animal Kingdom right now. Flame tree, eating a flame tree. Full pork sandwich oh, for you. me. And I got a hot dog. Oh, thank you. Chocolate milk. With I like a my uh, pork sandwich. Very good. And we're about to go on you that. It's hard to see, but you can see, you can see Everest. So how'd you think of your food? It's Did very you good. Take a picture of it? No, I didn't. Uh oh. No picture didn't happen. What about picture of your little biggest tree ever? The orange Fanta. There's the pulled pork, and uh, there is mommy's orange Fanta. Gummy looking. Daddy, how do you think of your drink and your food? It's interesting. It's like a Sprite with a granny apple syrup and some green sugar and a, there's a couple of gummies that were on the side they fell in. <laughs> and, uh, so that's interesting, it's different. And Max, how did you think of your food? He's yeah. wearing most of it. He's wearing most of it. <laughs> the smoothies all over him. We'll see you when we go on to something over here called Mount Everest. Bum bum bum. Here's what you do in between rides. Well, the big kids go on the ride, the little kid gets to run around this theater. Where are you gonna go, bud? Which way are you gonna go? Huh? Yeah, where are you going? What's he doing? He's going to climb up here? The excitement. This is Max's excitement for the day. So what did you get? I got the right on the last dragon ice cream. Ice cream? cream? Mm -hmm. And it's like a strawberry vanilla swirl with a cone with the bottom of the cone looks like a bunch of uh, ice cream. sugar kind of dipped in oh, sugar yeah. crystals. Mm -hmm. How is it? Yes. See how Max likes it. Give him another taste. Maybe if you're in your stroller, we'll give you a couple more tastes. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. You want a couple more tastes? You get in your yeah. stroller, we'll give you some taste. Okay, so Everest. Everest is reopened and we are going to tackle the Forbidden Mountain for our last try. Well, you might do a second one if Mommy decides to go. She's unsure well, if she wants to do this one. No, I meant the last time doing this. However, we might get to do it again if mommy decides to do it. Yeah, I really like it. We'll have to see. But yeah, we're going to battle the Yeti one last time. Yeah. Last time. You ready? Yeah. Can you keep your eyes open? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not going to do a pull. I'll put 
probably do it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can. That was an intense coaster. This is intense in some ways, but it's not as intense as that. Yeah. It's more fun. Okay, into the mountain we go. Or the whatever this is. Oh, we're going into the shop. The trek shop. We've gotta buy some uh I'll buy this. Gotta buy some goods for our trek. I'll buy this. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I'll buy all of this. Yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, yeah, all of this sure and this. I bought everything. Got all our materials for our journey. I, I bought everything and now, I, and now I'm like this. Yeah, now we got a lot of stuff weighing us down. Oh, uh, uh, that's intense. We're going up there. Where are we up there? Look at that. K2, that's one of the big mountains. Yeah. Yeti art culture. Oh, we're, we're moving now. Almost there. Yeah, look at all this, all this damaged camp stuff. This must have been the ruins of a campsite that got encountered with the Yeti. What does that say? Yes. Oh, yeah, some footprints, bear, tiger, wolf, yak. Different footprints. All the different footprints there. See the poop? Yep. Yeah. Poop. Tiger and bear poop. It's poopy. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's a footprint. That's, That's a footprint. A yeah, oh, we're in the loading dock. Okay. Wish us luck as we load on. Here we go. Show. No lions. Oh, 
Not only are they not awake, they're not even there. <laughs> We're gonna ride past him very slowly. He's gonna be over to your right. Oh, look at me. To the Middle East, more like desert regions because of the color of their fur, which allows them to reflect the sunlight. And they're actually. Hey, we're walking out of Animal Kingdom. Sadly, the lion said no. The lion said no thanks. So, we thought we might see lions on our very last safari. We went on the last safari of the night. Sadly, not only were the lions not sleeping, they weren't even there. But, there's a Mickey here to say goodbye to us. Bye, Mickey. Oh, sorry, Nathan. And we shall now look and see what Nathan got. He got a, a translator, a Navi translator. Yep. Very cool. Max said bye to Mickey. Bye, bye, Mickey. Oh, okay, Max is. Well. A <laughs> busy, What's up? Said, huh? What are you doing? Becca and Nathan off at Volcano Bay. We back to the room, hung out for a little bit, tidied up a bit, then decided to make a trip over to Disney Springs. By the time I got parked, we started walking around, put our name in for Gideon's to try those cookies. Four hour wait, so we're in the four hour wait, whether we come back for it or not, who knows. And then I started noticing the weather wasn't looking too good, so I made it over to the Disney co-op. By the time I got to the co-op, it was a downpour. Max was asleep, then he woke up, and he's gotten out of his stroller twice, so I'm walking around Disney Springs with the stroller. So basically what we're doing is we're waiting, we're getting, we're at the Polite Pig. Got some food from the Polite Pig, never eaten here before, heard really good things about the barbecue, right? So we're gonna eat at the Polite Pig. Uh, or we're gonna take it to go, hopefully. And then, uh, and Becca and Nathan are wrapped up because of the weather over at Volcano Bay. So yeah, I know, you didn't nap enough. That's why the big yawn's happening. Yeah, that's why the big yawn's happening. She didn't take long enough nap. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, here comes the food. Okay, I got the goods. She talked me into this peanut butter cold brew. Sounds really good, tastes really good. But now I gotta rush it back to Becca before it gets too melty. Bag of cookies. And she also talked me into some buttercream frosting, which I know Becca loves. So now back to the resort, got the goodies. Okay, we're gonna have Becca try this drink. This peanut butter cold brew from Gideon's. Get her reaction. Gotta get the door open here. Door open. Yeah. Okay. okay. Try this. What is that? What do you think of it? It's really good. It's like peanut butter. Peanut butter cold brew. Yeah. Look, it's one of the things the girl talked me into. She's like. It's my favorite thing here on the entire oh my menu God, we have. So good. She's like, I had to have one this morning before my shift. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. I could eat one of these, or drink one of these every day. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, this would be a go-to drink if they had at Starbucks. Oh my God, that's really good. <laughs> and then we'll have to try the cookies. And uh, swimming pool is probably gonna have to wait because uh, I believe Gozar is coming down to visit us. Who's Gozar? <laughs> From the Ghostbusters. 
Spaceship Earth is right there. There's... Zeus's mail. Like Keep your mail. eye on the Tower of Terror. I think something might happen to it. <laughs> Zeus is mad, though, actually. Zeus is mad. Zeus is really mad. There is the Gideon... What do you call it? Hall? <laughs> I guess it is. The Gideon Hall. So we're already we already know that we really like and enjoy this cold brew, this peanut butter cold brew. If you like peanut butter and you like coffee, Delicious. it's the way to go. Really good. This is what she talked me into this um, buttercream frosting, peanut butter flavored. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's good. And then the other one's just vanilla. I was like, you had me at buttercream frosting. I need a spoon. I was like, huh? it, was, it wasn't actually, I thought it was less than what I thought it was going to be. It was a dollar fifty, which is probably guess a lot, but Worth I was it. like, oh, dollar fifty? I'll take one of each. <laughs> mm. Yeah? That's just straight up frosting. That's good. And they, they admit it. <laughs> Nothing it's special. Raining. Oh, we got the... The rains have descended upon. Is Max, do you see the rain outside? Is it raining? Uh oh, rain. All Good right. time to be inside and enjoy some Gideons. Which cookies should we? Ch well, do you know what's what here? No, she oh, wrapped them and put them in the box. I have no idea. So if you get the little card, yeah. What I got was because they give. I guess they have a different one for each month. So I got the. Original chocolate chip, the peanut butter crunch, that's the first two. Third one down, cookies and cream. And then their limited edition, which is white chocolate caramel macadamia nut. Those are the four cookies I got. And then there's the, oh, there's the nitro, the the nitro cold brew on tap. I literally had them on tap. Why is look at this cookie? Look at this chocolate chip cookie, Nathan. Oh my god, that. Uh, there's a cookie under all that chocolate chip. I would just call that chocolate chip. I have to take pictures. Are you going to break it up? Oh. Break it. Oh, yeah, oh look my at that goodness. beauty. Oh my look god. At that, look at that. Nathan, would you like to try it first? Yeah. Yeah, cookie. Mm -hmm. I think Max might even like a little bit of it. More. <laughs> More? It's this. More. I'm clear. Okay. okay. Alright. Now my turn. Yep. We made. Not take any of these home. <laughs> we, eat, we eat four cookies today. The size of our heads. Oh my god. Whoa. Is it good? Mm hmm. Alright, shot. Max, want cuca? Mm hmm. Max? Oh yeah. Give Max a cuca. That's good. How about see how that is like, it. It, if you're the kind of person, mm -hmm. you go, what do you think, Max? Is that <laughs> yummy? Good cookie? Yum! Yeah, good, yum! Yum! He said yum! Yum cookie? Is it a num num ah, cookie, Jack Jack? Oh, I was He opened the drawer and there's <laughs> Cookie Monster. <laughs> Burn my cookies, <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> I want that my cookies. perfect. So I would say, if you like, the chocolate chips of a chocolate chip cookie. These are, this is yeah, it. Very chocolatey it's, chippy. it's more chocolatey like chip than it is the cookie part. So if you're more into the cookie part, you might be a little bit, I wouldn't say disappointed, but it's just, it's, it's, very just, chocolate. it's just more of the chocolate, it's more of the chip. It's more chocolate. This is the cookies and cream. Time process. Good process. Mm. It. Mm. Oh my god. Better than chocolate chip? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Alright. Better than chocolate chip. Okay. Same. Try. You know what? The chocolate chip is too much chocolate chip. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, look at that storm. Mm, wow. Okay. That cookies and cream, that is doing it for me. Yeah, oh, I like that a lot. That's right. 
Check out this storm. Oh look, one of those helicopter tours is going by and it's down for. You, you think they're gonna go see guest services after? <laughs> What do you think of that cookie, Nathan? It was great. Oh, Nathan just tried it. What'd you think, Nate? Cookies and cream. And yummy. Yes, so we're two for two. Two for two. Mm -hmm. Two for two. This one is the white chocolate caramel macadamia nut. Mm -hmm. I already have a sugar rush. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Gets better? Mm-hmm. Every cookie gets better. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Anything? I always like white chocolate macadamia nut. Same. It's one of my favorite kind of cookies. This and like this that. is like so oh, good. So for, like you, know, you don't like the nut? No. Just finish it. Okay. Two for three for Nathan. He's not liking the uh, right. white chocolate. Macadamia. I like it a lot. If you like white chocolate macadamia nut, really good, really really good. I think you might be saving the best for the last. Not on purpose, but I think that may be what's happening here because peanut I think. Uh, Woo! Yeah, peanut butter. Hello, peanut butter. Let's take a photo. Um, I'm not gonna have the peanut butter one. No, all right. You're, you're not gonna have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's peanut butter crunch. If that changes your mind. It's all right. You can try it later. We're not gonna. Okay. We're having a bite. What's in this? What are you spitting out? Uh oh. Should we be paying attention to the baby? I guess we should. Okay. Well, first. Let's well, he got. He's eating orange peel. Yeah. Soft, moist, good. Peanut butter, good. Delicious. All right. I can't decide on a winner. Mmm. Oh. They're mm. all delicious. I will give oh. the edge to the peanut butter. I think that wins. <laughs> I, I think that wins. I think the peanut butter, oh, it's really good. So my least favorite one was the chocolate chip and only because it had too many too much, chocolate too much chips. Too much chocolate chips, yeah. And that's my least favorite part of a chocolate chip cookie. Too. Okay. Wow. Well, there you have it. Gideon's Bakehouse. It's a $6 cookie, but it's big. And you're on vacation, and I don't know. I think it's worth it. Not one thing I got was not was bad. Every single thing was good. Yes. We're literally ranking like the good of all good, and that includes the frosting. Okay, the refrigerator just fell apart. <laughs> so, anyways, anyway. that's what you have to do. You have to film these things while your children are destroying the room. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. But we're literally ranking stuff that are all good like the butter the frosting was good i haven't tried the frosting i'll try it but you say it's good oh, yeah. the nitro cold brew peanut butter good all the cookies good so it was worth the craziness to get into gideon's and all during a typical florida summer downpour good job family good job family yummy